Hey guys, as some of you may know, a couple weeks back I was touring through Israel and I put together a photo shoot with local photographer Ayelet Rabinovich. So we gathered a bunch of models and a makeup artist and went to the Dead Sea and did something pretty fantastic. So over here is one of the shots that we actually took during this day. And um, the shot is beautiful um, in a pretty exotic location. So I just wanted to give a quick run through of how we could improve the photo. So today, what I want to do with you guys is basically come in and show you guys how we can take this image and improve it with Photoshop. So it's going to be a quick, simple Photoshop tutorial. We're not going to do anything complicated. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is come in and use a healing brush to fix up the skin a little bit. Go down and get rid of some distracting details. Use a liquify tool to add a little bit of drama and flair to the image. And finally, a curve adjustment to change and tweak the colors. So let's get started. First off, I just wanted to let you guys know that I might be going a little bit fast um, using a lot of basic tools, so I'll probably be making some Photoshop 101 videos uh, to help you guys follow along in the near future. So stay tuned on that. It's going to be the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Devon Wong. So let's get started. So first off, the first thing to do when arriving at a photograph is to create a brand new layer. Uh, I like to use Shift-Command-N as a shortcut, or you can click the little icon over here on the bottom. From here, we come up and uh, we're going to zoom in because it's very easy to see um, defects uh, from close up. Now, I'm not a beauty retoucher, so um, it might be a little bit horrified at what I've been doing over here. Uh, but basically, I just come in and source, um, source some points that are clean using out and coming in and just painting it in. So slowly just getting rid of whatever I find uh, personally a little bit distracting uh, skin or otherwise. Now, although these may look like small details, um, they actually do show up on uh, the end result. So I'm doing something very simple here. I'm not perfecting the image per se. I'm merely cleaning it up a little bit, uh, getting rid of things that I find could be a little bit distracting. So in healing and cloning, there's not really any magical technique. All you need to do is select the proper source point and just paint it in. It's something that really just takes practice. So get on it right now and just start healing stuff and see how it looks. It's really not complicated. So there we have it. Um, that's pretty much what I would do for skin. It's not perfect. It's uh, For me, it's good enough. Uh, from afar, I think it's made a huge difference in terms of uh, shadows. Um, all I did down here with the arm was just kind of clone it to soften the shadows. I uh, can't remove it completely because that would look unnatural, but overall um, just soften that because I found it a little bit distracting. So from here, I'm going to rename the layer. I'm going to just call it uh, skin, let's say, and I'm going to create a new layer and come in and get rid of something called rocks. Now, I don't know if many people do this, but um, I find backgrounds can be exceedingly uh, distracting. So I like to come in and go through and get all these points that I think could be a little bit distracting and remove them. Um, I'll show you what it looks like before and after. So we're going to fast forward this again. And um, once again, I'm just using the healing brush. It's nothing very, very fancy. Um, basically use out to select a source point and, and then just paint it in. Since this background in particular is especially blurry, it doesn't really matter um, how much attention you pay. Uh, it, it, it's just the back. We're just cleaning it up. Um, there, there's not so much texture. Um, Painting this doesn't really ruin the image in any way, so. So there we go. I think um, to me this is this is good enough. Uh, I it makes a big difference to me just having those little rocks in the background just smoothed out. I know it's a lot of detail work and it may look insignificant, but I think overall it does make a difference on the overall impact of the shot. So from here. What I'm going to do is I want to liquefy and I want to kind of um, add a little bit of drama to this, this veil here in the wind. So, so unfortunately, liquefy can only be applied on a single layer. So we're going to have to stamp the whole thing. So the shortcut to that is command out shift E. Um, now we have a brand new layer up here that's just popped up. Uh, it's just a, a basically flattened everything, uh, the rocks and the skin that we just did onto one single layer. From there, we head off to filter, liquefy. Okay, once Liquify launches up, so what I like to do is come in here, take a really, really large brush size, and then um, just start slowly pushing things into the way, the direction and the shape that I want them to be. So for one, I want this veil to be extremely big and billowy. So 
you're going to see that there's a lot of distortion happening right now, but I'm not going to really uh, pay attention to that. So let's say I kind of like that. I think it's got a nice flow of movement to it. Um, maybe going to get rid of that little bump here in the, in the head. Just curve that a little bit and push this, this part in over there. Um, now this dress is a little bit loose, so I'm actually just going to help tuck this in a little bit, add a little bit of curvature to the body. I uh, hope that doesn't cause any controversy to you guys, as well as uh, reshape um, reshape a little bit uh, the legs over here. So I'm just doing these really, really little nudges back and forth, back and forth, um, this little detail work, trying not to change things up too much. Now over here it's completely distorted, but we're going to ignore that for now. So I'm going to click on OK. The whole thing just comes in, so you can see a nice before and after. And there we go. So now you can see that there's a pretty significant difference between the two and uh, what we need to do now is come in and save these pixels here that have been completely destroyed and warped. So the first thing to do is to create a mask by clicking on the little button down here. Now from there we're going to use a quick select tool, select the veil because that's that's the part that we're going to want to keep. Now we're going to select the veil and I'm going to invert the selection using command shift I and as you can see now, the little marching ants are actually selecting everything but the veil. So now I'm going to take my mask tool, uh, paint in black over here, and just bring in uh, all all the parts that were underneath. So I'm going to base. I'm basically effectively erasing. Um, I'm erasing over here anything that uh, was distorted from my warping. Now, of course, things don't always work out perfectly. Uh, there's a little bit of something going on here, so I think I'm going to just accept the fact that there's going to be a little bit of warping here. It's not even going to show up. And there we go. So we went from this to this. Quite cool. So let's say we're happy with this. The final thing that we're going to be doing is taking a curve layer. And now curves are very powerful. Um, they can be used to lighten the image, darken the image. Uh, they can be also used to change the color of the image. Now this is something that I particularly enjoy doing. I think that by adding a little bit of color here and there, you can make an image extremely magical. So that's what I'm going to try to do over here. Um, there's no fixed formula. Basically in curves, you can tweak um, the, the colors by playing with the red, green, or blue channels. Um, I don't have any particular methodology. I just come in and I just play around until I come out with something that makes me happy. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be building a DVD in the very near future to help fundraise a trip to Europe. So if you guys are interested, check it out. Indiegogo.com slash Von Wong does Europe. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done a tutorial like this. So if you guys have any feedback whatsoever, please leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.